and then start Victoria as administrator. In the standard tab that opens, we can see the list of all drives connected to this computer and information on them. It includes drive name, number of clusters, memory and the motherboard connector the drive is using. The Smart tab shows the drive status, namely its current Smart values. To see it, click on Get Smart and Victoria will show in the right window the current drive status. Please note that Smart is not supported for USB drives. The window in the left shows the list of attributes with their values. The most important values are those shown in Trash and Raw columns. Trash is the value that an attribute has to reach to be recognized as critical. Raw is the most important indicator for evaluation of the drive status. It contains real values directly telling you about the disk health. There are many smart attributes, and all of them are important. But in our case, the following items will be the most important for quick evaluation. 1. Frequency of read errors. There are many of them, but it's not critical, because this number coincides with the attribute 195 – the number of errors fixed by hardware means. 5. The number of sectors reallocated by the hard drive to a reserved area. In our case, there are none – zero. 187. The number of sectors to be reallocated. There are also none – zero. 196. The number of reallocation operations – none. If values in these attributes were higher than zero, or if they were not corrected with hardware means in time, it would indicate there are problems with the drive. Now let us move to the most important tab – Tests, which actually examines the disk for bad sectors. Let us start the test <coughs> and look at it in detail while the program is working. To do it, click on Start. This is where you can set uh, the beginning and the end of the test area, which is by default set to cover the entire drive. There are fields Start LBA and LBA. You can also choose what the program does after the test. Choose a test type and so on. For a simple test, don't change anything. The principle is like this. The drive is divided into sectors having a similar length, and the program sends a request to every sector. The longer time it takes for a sector to respond, the more likely it is to fail. This problem can be caused by both physical wear of the hard drive and wrong use. Bad sectors can be hidden by replacing them with good sectors from the drive's reserved area. Before the test begins, choose one of the options – Ignore, Remap, Erase and Restore. In the Ignore mode, the program analyzes and represents information. At the moment, we started testing in this mode. In the Remap or Reassign mode, the program replaces damaged or bad sectors with good sectors from the drive's reserved area. With the help of Restore mode, you can try restoring the sectors damaged at the software level. In the Erase mode, the program tries to write data into the damaged sector and use it further. This mode is recommended to experienced users only. As you can see, Victoria analyzes the drive and shows the number of sectors and categories depending on their response time. This information is also shown graphically in the left window. The sectors shown in orange are supposed to have problems, while red or blue ones are damaged, that is, bad sectors. Green sectors have a certain response delay, but they don't need correction yet. After testing it is over and it shows some damaged sectors, you can do the following. You can go over the drive in the remap mode. If there are bad sectors left after this operation, the drive can be tested again, this time in the Restore mode. To do it, choose the necessary mode and click the Start button again to begin. You should understand that Victoria is a very useful utility, but it cannot eliminate all problems with your hard drive.
Its task is to test a working drive without physical damage and fix bad sectors at the software level. Victoria cannot fix a worn-out or physically damaged drive.